now. Um, Zeth is going to check his work to make sure he did it correctly. So this is what we call an oblique pyramid. Okay? An oblique pyramid, ladies and gentlemen, is very, very important because what you notice is not all the sides all converge to one point that's in like the center of the base. You can see now they all converge to a point that's kind of off-centered. So it's kind of like a slanted pyramid, which we call an oblique pyramid. So remember, the main important thing when we're trying to find the volume of a pyramid, one-third base times height. It's the same exact formula. Sometimes what's difficult about an oblique pyramid, though, is remember we just need to determine what is the height from the base to the top. And actually, they provide it to us. I didn't write it down. Six feet. So what you guys can see is since this is slanted over, they actually give you what it is from the base to the top. The base is, the base is from here to the top at six feet. So all I need to do is find the area of the base. Well, this is a square base because both two sides are four and four. So therefore, all I need to do is say one third base, which is going to be a square, which will be four times four times six. So volume equals um, four times or three times one third is two. Two times sixteen is going to be thirty-two. Is this feet or inches? Feet, and since we're talking about uh, volume, it's going to be feet cubed. Okay? So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is it. Jessica, does that make sense?